Hello everyone, this is number 81 for common speaking errors. So our next error that we have on the board here is he feels badly. Okay, so when we're using uh, badly, this is going to be like, like an adverb, so it's got to affect an action of some sort. Now if we're discussing feeling, um, then we just want to use bad. We just want to use uh, we just want to use the word bad. So let's go ahead and we're going to get rid of badly. And we will replace it with bad. So if you see this word right here, he feels bad. Um, now there's other linking verbs as well that we're going to use that are going to take this adjective form. Um, so those verbs are going to be, you know, we, number one, we got feel. And then there is looks or look. And then there is smell. And um, there's going to be others here as well. So we've also got sounds. And we've also got taste. So if you see these words here in a sentence, you want to use the word bad. So um, I can say, I'm just going to start a sentence here. I'm going to say uh, this. So I can say, this looks bad. This smells bad. This sounds bad. This tastes bad. I'm not going to say this looks badly or this smells badly or this sounds badly. Um, so we want to use bad with feel, look, smell, sound, and taste. So do remember that. Um, badly, when we're using badly, this is going to be, this is going to modify an action of some sort, like, um, like I did badly on the test. So that means uh, you, you were not so good at doing a, that you were, you didn't get a good test score. So you did badly on the test, or uh, maybe if you're running and you and you twist your knee while you're running, you would say, "Oh, I twisted my knee badly." So you're describing how uh, terrible that action was. Um, but yeah, that is gonna complete number eighty-one. So just remember to use these verbs with the word with the adjective bad. All right, and uh, I will see you in lesson number 82.